I'm going to show you how to measure out an accurate volume of liquid. For this we need a measuring cylinder. So say I was wanting to measure out 80 mils of a liquid. First you'd collect your liquid, your chemical from the teacher's bench in a beaker. Only take as, just as about as much as you think you'll need. Then slowly pour it into your measuring cylinder. You want to pour slowly to avoid any splashes. Pour it in until you've got about 80 mils, about the volume you want. But now we need to fine tune that volume. So in order to do that, we need to get down to eye level. We need to make sure the bottom of the meniscus is lined up with the scale mark of the volume that we want. In order to add more volume to our measuring cylinder, grab a plastic pipette, get some of the chemical, and then slowly add it to your measuring cylinder. Until the bottom of the meniscus lines up with the scale of the volume you want. When you use a pipette, make sure the tip of the pipette is sitting on the inside edge of the measuring cylinder. This will reduce the chance of any splashes. If when you're measuring, you accidentally put too much liquid in, then you can use your pipette to remove some. Done. As you can see, there are lots of different sizes of measuring cylinders. Use the smallest one to suit your needs. For example, if I needed to measure out 40 mils, I'd use this one. For less than 25 mils, I'd use this one. Or for 10 mils or less, I'd use this one.